Hey everyone, welcome back to React course. In this lecture, we are going to understand what is a single page application. React uses single page application architecture. This architecture is also known as thick land because the browser being a client holds more logic and performs functions such as rendering of HTML, validation, UI changes and so on. In this lesson, we will understand how single page application work in React. Before the first single page application framework appeared, the landscape was dominated by multiple page application. Built in static HTML and server side technologies like PHP, ASP, Java, Ruby and Python. Multiple page application work by making multiple requests between the client and server. As websites have grown in complexity, so have the demands they make on server. The introduction of Ajax, which allows web page to be updated without reloading, partly elevate this issue. Today, many frameworks provide single page application architecture. If you decided to building a single page application best suit your project, there is still the small matter of selecting single page application framework. I will list out three important framework which you can use to build single page application. So the first framework which you can use to build single page application is React.js. Then we have Angular and the third is Vue.js. These three frameworks are comfortable working with single page application. So let's take an example and understand how single page application work. So let's say you are a user using single page application. The first thing you would do is request a new URL, right? So this is your browser window and this is a server. So when you request a new URL, the browser send URL request to the server right here, right? Just after that, the server respond to the request with static asset such as HTML, CSS and JavaScript. This request has only a skeleton of web page. When this step will be happening, you might see loading or spinning animation. Just after that, the static asset include the JavaScript code for single page application. When the JavaScript code loaded, this additional code makes an Ajax request for data. Just after that, the data come back with the JSON, XML or any other format. Once you have a data received from the server, the HTML skeleton render the missing data on the web page. When the browser rendering is finished, the single page application will replace the loading message or an animation and you can see your actual web page on the browser. Now you can work on this web page. Now when you have your web page, you might perform a data request to the server. If you are request for any data from the server, just like clicking on the submit button to submit your data or to request any information by clicking on the button. Now. Triggering a new request from a single page application to the server will cycle URL request to the server and get the response from the server and render HTML on the browser. Single page application will not reload entire page. Using single page application, when you request for a data, the page will render the specific section which you had requested. You will get your render data in the specific HTML element server will not reload the entire application to render this data in the web page. This is very crucial when you are working with the huge website. This architecture helps us to improve performance of the website. So this is what single page application architecture. Now let's take few pros and cons of single page application. When you are using single page application, pages load faster when a user navigate within an application which request in a snappier user experience after the initial load. Richer application can be built with single page applications. It takes more time to initialize the application as it has to be downloaded to the user device. But this can be improved by server side rendering. Single page application require the user to have JavaScript turned on. Single page application framework can be used to develop mobile applications that facilitate code reusability down to the level of UI element. Single page application can be hard to track, especially when triggering third party modules and plugins. Single page applications are newer and you need to familiar with the specific frameworks and tools like npm, 
webpack system js and gulp so these are few pros and cons of using single page application in the next lecture we are going to understand what is ecmascript 6 module if you have any question you can ask me in the comment answering the question specified in the comment will help you to improve your knowledge that is all for now we will see you in the next lecture